Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo-Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode we've got two home games. One against third placed Arsenal and one against 18th placed West Brom. Let's get into it. So following on from our 7-1 demolition against West Ham, we then drew 1-1 at home against Everton. Gilfie Sigurdsson had put them in front 30 minutes in, but Tony Herrero equalised only 4 minutes later and gave us the point. We then had another home tie, this time it was against Manchester United and they were a little bit too good for us. Lautaro Martinez had put them in front 28 minutes in, Under with a second, Marcus Rashford with a third, Dimitri Basoli came on and got a late consolation 72 minutes in, but it was a match they did dominate. Next up was an absolutely superb performance against Chelsea. Gonzalo Ramos got sent off for us in the 44th minute at 0-0. So going into the second half, I'm anticipating getting absolutely battered and that being that. But Lewis Muntanao put us in front 71 minutes in, only for Federico Bernadeschi equalising in the 75th minute. But we got a point away from home against Chelsea with basically 10 men for the entire second half. And yes, our keeper did get player of the match. The worst result of where we run of fixtures came away from home against Burnley where we got beat 1-0. Jonas Wind got them the goal in the 51st minute. Ian van der Heerde got injured in this game and he's out for another few weeks which is disappointing to see. He really was developing quite nicely this season but he's going to be missing for the time being. And yeah, we fell up to, to a defeat today and we fully deserved it. We didn't really play particularly well against Burnley. But we did play particularly well against Tottenham Hotspur at home and we absolutely smashed them 4-0. Malik Wilkes coming in for the injured Iron van der Heerde certainly took his opportunity getting himself a hat-trick goals in the first 32nd and 89th minute. Abel Ruiz getting himself a goal as well in the 18th minute. And this is performance of the season worthy apart from that West Ham game. And finally, away from home against Watford, we managed to get a 1-1 draw. Nicolas Capaldo had put us in front 41 minutes in, but Abdelou de Coria ended up equalising just after half-time, 46 minutes in, and Watford were lucky to get the point here. And after those run of fixtures, saves us lie in 10th position in the Premier League. 5 wins, 5 draws, 5 defeats, 20 points, 9 points clear from the relegation zone, and we do play West, Ham, uh, West Brom today, and we're not too far away from the European spots. So Arsenal are today's first opponents. We are at home in both games, so I'm hoping we can at least get maybe one or two points. Uh, I'm looking for the win against West Brom, actually, so three points. I expect to get beat this game. Uh, Arsenal are currently sitting in third position on 34 points. Six points behind Liverpool, sitting top of the table, but, you know, they will be fighting for the top four and potentially the title this season. So to get a result today will be absolutely massive. Unfortunately for us, though, we've got a number of injuries and suspensions. Gonzalo Ramos is injured. Uh, for another four days, so Bruno Costa comes in for him in attack and midfield. As we've already spoken about, Arjen van der Heerde is still injured for another three weeks, so Wilkes keeps his spot on the right-hand side. Alan Franco, our centre-back, is suspended for today's game, so Halmir comes in in his spot, and Capaldo is also injured for another ten days or so. So Dimitri Basoli comes in in the defensive midfield position, and Fosto Vera moves up into the centre of midfield position. So, our starting eleven is pretty weakened right now. Halmir... Uh, Bissoli, Wilkes, Bruno, Costa, all players who wouldn't usually be getting a starting spot on our side. But they've got an opportunity today to stake a, uh, stake a claim for their place in the squad. So it looks like Arsenal have made some key changes to their side in the first three seasons or so of this save. Costas Manolas and De Vry coming in at centre-back for them, replacing David Luiz and Socrates. Um, their midfield sees the same. Bruno Fernandes coming in. This is, of course, before he's went to Manchester United, signed him from Sport in Lisbon. Luan coming in on that left-hand side, a pretty tasty attack midfielder, not absolutely sensational though, and Fekir playing on that right-hand side. Obviously, Arsenal having a good season so far. We need to try and stop it. First highlight of the game comes two minutes in. It's a long ball by uh, Arsenal. Tisserand can't anticipate that and cut it out. And then now keeper gives it in a middle for Kia, and he goes in one-on-one, -on -one, and he puts Arsenal 1-0 up with his fifth goal of the season. Absolutely oh, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Let's say this again. It was absolutely beautiful. Zuho here, absolutely delightful little pass to Halmir. Halmir falling asleep as well, to be fair. Uh, Fekir nips in and puts Arsenal 1 0 up. You know, that's exactly what you want to do against the better sides. Give them goals because they can't do it themselves. 10 minutes in now. Hopefully, an attack and Highland for Basoli plays in Herrero, tries to find Wilkes at the back post, but it goes all the way to Gressabel on the right hand side and Abel Ruiz. 
What was that? Open goal at the back post. That should be 1-1. Another highlight now. Arsenal with the ball deep in their own half. Can we close them down and cause a mistake? We can. Lewis Munter now pinches the ball inside the box. Burn Leno with an easy save in the end. But we do get a corner from it. So maybe our set pieces might come back to save us. Bruno Costa plays it in. De Vry gets clear. Fekir with a free kick from deep for Arsenal. <sighs> I think it was Luan who ends up getting his head on it and hitting the crossbar. The keeper had absolutely no chance if that was on target. Thankfully, Fakir just runs it in our keeper's arms and we can nullify that attack. Another highlight now. Arsenal playing it out of the bat this time. They seem to retain position pretty well. Um, I'm not liking it so much. Nabil Fakir coming down this right-hand side. He's got support from Bellerin, but he doesn't need him. He goes to Gwendouzi. And to me, that's, that's a fair enough goal. <laughs> that was absolutely unbelievable strike from Matteo Gwendouzi. Now, I don't mind conceding them goals. The first goal I've got a problem with. But this goal is absolutely sensational. Fakir plays the ball inside. Gwendouzi hits it first time. Top bins. Keeper's got no chance. Arsenal 2. Burnley, uh, Barnsley, no. I'm not Burnley. Another highlight now. Maitland Niles is playing on the left-hand side for Arsenal today. Uh, an unfamiliar position for him, but I'm pretty sure he is pretty comfortable in that role. And that works the way to Fakir on this right-hand side. Plays the ball down the line for Bruno Fernandes, who offers support. It's cleared by Halmir. Wilkes boots it forward to absolutely nobody. And we are not playing well in this game. Bruno Fernandes picks up the ball in the centre once again. Finds Fakir, who's causing us all sorts of problems on that right-hand side. Great save by our keeper, though, to keep him out. And Luan is offside. And that is going to be that for the first half. Barnsley nil, Arsenal 2. Pretty unfortunate to go 1-0 down the way we did. But um, I think Arsenal are well worth their lead at the minute. They are creating opportunities, carving out spaces, uh, particularly down our wings. But let's kick off with the second half, see if our boys can get back anywhere. Maybe if we get a goal back, we can change things up and really push for this. But it's going to have to take a mammoth uh, change from our boys on the pitch. And I wasn't even commentating on that, and it's not going to count. It's offside. Absolutely champion. Corner for Arsenal. Fakir is the one to take it. Halmir clears. Bruno Costa can bring the ball away now. He doesn't have that many options to be able to support him, but he takes it all the way down this right-hand side. Gets past Bruno Fernandes. Plays the ball in. Terraris there to cut it out, but we keep it alive with Dimitri Basoli. And that's a decent enough strike. Goes just wide. Another highlight now. Free kick for Arsenal. Bellerin hits the bar this time. That's the second time they've hit the woodwork from a set pace. And we survive and keep our hopes alive. We have played a lot better in the second half so far, according to the match stats. But um, is it going to count for much as Arsenal come forward again with Torreira? Whips the ball in. Tisserand gets clear. Abel Ruiz is on it now. Finds Montenu. Can he do some magic? We've got plenty of players coming forward. He tries to find the most difficult ball and he gives it away. And Arsenal can break now with Luan on this left-hand side. Finds Gwendouzi inside. He's got all the space in the world. And that is a special save by Zoho. Um, he's maybe making up for his mistake a little bit, but I'm still not forgiving him. Another highlight now. Only 25 minutes or so remaining in the match. Lucas Terrell with a long ball forward. Why is Gwendouzi that far pushed up as a centre midfielder? I do not know. Lacazette. Shot is blocked. Comes back to Gwendouzi. Back Lacazette. Bro. Some... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who shot, who didn't, who blocked, who didn't. But um, yeah, they didn't score. And that is all that matters as Maitland-Niles comes down the left-hand side. 68 minutes in. Uh, plays it back to Gwendouzi. He's got options in the centre. Goes for Terraro, who finds Fakir on this right-hand side in a pocket of space. Plays it into Luan. And you could see that coming. Luan's third goal of the season. Another assist by Nabil Fakir. And with 20 minutes to go, we're just going to make some changes. We're going to bring on Matthias Espinosa on this left-hand side. He is going to play as a winger. Malik Wilkes is going to steal on. Tony Herrero can come off, though, for Ben Williams. Foster Vera, Alex Moat. Get him off. Get him on. Let's just make our changes. Keep our boys fresh. It was always a game that we were anticipating getting beat in, so no need to worry over this one. It's the West Brom game that we're focusing on next. Let's just see out the rest of this game without too much humiliation. Maybe a goal back might make us feel a little bit better, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Thankfully, our keeper has done okay today, despite his 6.3 average rating. Um, he's made a good couple of saves. And that is going to be that for the match. So Barnsley 0, Arsenal 3, a completely predictable scoreline but one which we can't get too angry at. They are a much better side than we are, and we are missing a number of key players. So we'll rest up the boys. Got West Brom in like five or six days, so I'll see you there. So we're back for the West Brom game. A couple of changes to the starting 11 as things stand. Capaldo still injured. Alex Moat is now injured. Van der Heerde is still injured. Garessa Bell is suspended alongside Tissaran. So Jordan Williams comes in at right back. 
and Alan Franco returns to the starting eleven, but partners Halmir as Tisserand suspension rules him out. Tony Herrera at left back, Basoli and Vera in the midfield, Malik Wills, Gonzalo Ramos returns in attack midfield. He's only just come back from injury, so only recommending 75 minutes of action, but that's absolutely fine by me. I'm hoping we are long gone against West Brom before that point, but I can't underestimate, underestimate them. They did get promoted alongside ourselves, so we are still going to have to be at the top of our game to be able to get the win today. They come at us with a pretty attacking formation, a 4-2-3-1. Sam Johnston in goal, Raphael, uh, Jeffrey Schlupp, uh, a decent Arsenal youngster. He's on loan there. But uh, I think we've got the one of the few times we can say this, I think we've got the better squad over West Brom. He is a tasty midfielder though, Rakeem Harper. But f like man for man, I think we've got these boys here. Let's get into the game. First highlight of the game, 15 minutes in. It's West Brom, actually, who are on the attack. Zuba goes for goal, but Azoho easily gets that one. And the match stats are going pretty favourably for us, 20 minutes in. The first half, though, is just ticking away without much occurring. Only 10 minutes left. And we finally get our second highlight of the game. It's a Johnston kick from uh, inside his own box. And he gives it straight to Malik Wilkes, who drives down this right-hand side. Plays it inside for Foster Vera. And he should be getting that at least on target. Another highlight now. Bastos goes for goal from West Brom from deep. Azoho with a pretty easy save in the end. It wasn't the greatest strike. And they have a corner with Zubair to play it in. It goes to the back post. Heads down to Groezo. We'll manage to get the block in. And Gonzalo Ramos can bring it clear. Is this going to lead to anything? Absolutely not. Why would it? Only five minutes to go in the first half. Foster Rivera doing absolutely excellently to win that ball back. Um, with West Brom looking like they were going to attack down their left-hand side. But we can retain possession in the midfield and build something ourselves. Abel Ruiz receives the ball from Halmir. He's got Wilkes driving in. Not to down to Lewis Montano. And he puts us 1-0 up 40 minutes in. His eighth goal of the season. He was only four and a half million pounds. He's absolutely fantastic. Abel Ruiz doing well here, bringing the ball down, finding uh, Malik Wilkes, who heads it down for Montanu, who buries it quite comfortably, and the keeper can't get to that. 1 0. And that is going to be that for the first half. Barnsley 1, uh, West Brom 0. Let's kick off for the second and hope for more of the same with a couple of more highlights, particularly for ours. For our favour, anyway. Only two minutes into the second half, though, and it looks like West Brom are the ones who's going to get the opening highlight of the second half. But Malik Wilkes does excellently to beat uh, Jeffrey Schlupp on their left-hand side. And we can clear to Montanu, who brings it down great. He held up the ball pretty well, despite being dispossessed. And Gonzalo Ramos can feed it in. Abel Ruiz, who goes for goal. Now, that would have been something special. Another highlight now. Jordan Williams wins the ball on the right-hand side after a poor goal kick from their keeper. Gets dispossessed by Bastos, though, and we have, we have committed a lot of men forward. And Rothwell can bring it forward to Balogon. Who go, oh, that's, that, that is dreadful. Another highlight now. Zubair brings it down this left-hand side. Oh, gets the ball in. That is a great cross. And following Balogon, after we've just absolutely disty shooting ability, gets his seventh goal of the season and brings West Brom level at 1-1, 53 minutes in. It was good player by Zubair on the left-hand side. Completely leaves Jordan Williams and gets a decent cross in. And it's a tidy finish, to be fair, beating the offside trap. 1-1. Fosto Vera with a free kick deep in West Brom's half. Gets played in. I think it was Gonzalo Ramos who won the header. But uh, couldn't get it on target. With only 22 minutes or so remaining. And we will look to make some changes. Malik Wilkes can come off for Matthias Espinosa on that right-hand side. And Bruno Costa can come on for Gonzalo Ramos in the centre. We don't want Gonzalo Ramos to pick up another injury. Um, he is one of our key players in the attack. And as things stand, it looks like we are going to end up having a 1-1 draw against West Brom at home, which isn't the most ideal of scorelines. We're going to go very attacking for the final five minutes. Might end up costing us in the end, but doesn't look like it's going to. Time is ticking away. Bruno Costa with a free kick. Espinosa is back post. Absolute substitute of dreams. He comes on, gets the goal, and hopefully the win for us. Barnsley 2, West Brom 1. I'm just a tactical genius, boys. Tactical genius. <laughs> Bruno Costa with a decent free kick. Espinosa at the back post, rises highest and gets his header on target. With only three minutes remain, we haven't got a lot of time left. And that is going to be that for the game. Barnsley 2, West Brom 1, a 92nd minute goal gives us the win. We, we needed that. And after those two fixtures, the Premier League table looks something like this. We currently sit in the 8th position on 23 points. We are now 12 points clear from 18th placed Fulham. Well clear of the relegation zone. We are only... 
well, we're eight points off sixth place, so European spots looks just as unlikely as relegation at this point. But we can be very, very pleased with how our season's gone so far. We've got a pretty even record, six wins, five draws, six defeats with a one uh, plus one goal difference. So things aren't looking too bad on all them fronts and our boys are performing well above expectations as we approach the halfway line in the Premier League season. So looking forward to the next episode, it will be the January transfer window special where we will play all of our games off camera. And with £8 million to spend and 200k available in the wages, we might be able to find a player or two who improves our first 11. But that is a might. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.